five if you've got the drive buckle up and race to the fossil frontier pedal to the floor and let the engine roar put it into primal instinctual gear delve into the ground discoveries abound hammer drill thrills by the millions await look into your heart powers off the charts dust away the past and grab a clean slate now's your chance the future's your own don't let the present imprison your dreams make your life in the wild unknown go and be free Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fossil Fighters Frontier. It's Red here. Let's go ahead and begin part 20, everybody. You guys ready to begin? Because I am. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, before I begin, I want to let you guys know what I did last night after beating Big Raja, of course. You know, Big Daddy in Fossil Park Europe. And uh, after that episode, I decided that I need a new Vivasaur because you guys were telling me that I need a backup one because, you know, Ken's going to be taken away. So I realized that, hey, I need to get a new one. And I didn't want to use the AR Vivasaurs because I realized that they were kind of boring. You guys were right. They're kind of boring and they're not in the game. It's not fun when you're not digging up new types of Vivasaurs, which we're supposed to do in this game. So I did that as well. So I went around Fossil Park Europe, Fossil Park Asia. Fossil Park America, I went around excavating new fossils to see which Vivasaur I want to choose from a backup one and I decided to choose one which we'll see in a bit but we're going to go ahead and go to Fossil Park Asia for now because of course the story tells us that we're going to go out and help Liu Ren and of course Sean in Fossil Park America. Let's go to uh, Liu Ren first and let's see what he needs for us. Hey what up my man, how you doing Liu Ren? You need our help or what? Excellent timing Jura. I was wondering if you'd join me for a bit. Sure, man. What's up? I need your help with something over in Lantern Lake. I'll wait for you at the entrance. Please don't be long. Okay. A man with no words who just wants us to get our ass over there. No explanation needed. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll show you guys the new Vivasaur that I chose. I, I dug up a whole bunch and I decided to level it up as well. Of course, because I have to level them up. Because, you know, if we're not at least in level 20 something, then you're going to have a hard time by now. So I chose Cryo. This guy's like some ice uh, water type uh, Vivasaur, which I thought was really damn cool. So I decided to uh, uh, go ahead and pick that up. Let's go to Lantern Lake for now. Leo Ren, Becky, gonna be our Paleo Pals. Let's see how good Leo Ren is. Uh, I maxed out Becky and also maxed out uh, Drake while I was leveling up my new Vivasaur, which is Cryo, of course. So let's go ahead and see how this goes, everybody. All right, let's see how good Leo Ren's uh, Paleo Pal status is. But anyways, thanks for coming so quickly. As you may know, there's a waterfall on this dig site. Have you ever wondered what's behind it? Huh. Well, I never wondered about it. I didn't even realize that there was a waterfall. In fact, I thought it was just a goddamn giant lake. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get off the goddamn bridge because y'all know there's some of us who's running into our faces. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, um, I realized that they sold a bunch of chisels uh, in the fossil mart and I didn't even realize how good they were until yesterday when I was digging a whole bunch of excavating you know excavating a whole bunch of fossils because I was having a lot I, have a, I was having a hard time digging up those gold ones in those challenge routes so I was like oh my god I need something new I went to the fossil mart picked up some chisels and it worked like the charm it is so goddamn good everybody uh, if you are having trouble with fossiling or whatever, go ahead and get the chisel at the fossil mark. Trust me, it's like it works so well. And this guy wants us for breakfast. I'm gonna get out of there. Hell no, and this is where we have to go behind the waterfall. Pretty damn cool. I wonder what's behind it though. Alright. What could be behind it? I brought you here for a reason. This is actually a secret entrance. To what? Huh. Hold on and I'll explain. But first, why not take a look for yourself? Open sesame. Open sesame. Um, open sesame? Oh, that's right. Open parsley. What is this, some kind of Aladdin movie? Come on. This ain't Disney. <laughs> Alright, it's opening, guys. It's opening. Holy smokes. Righto, then. Let's go. What could be in this? What could be in this? Alright, let's go ahead. Come on, loading screen. Way too long. Alright, let's go. Oh, some kind of green. Okay, I hate this broom guy. Just shut the hell up. Why does he always have to tell me, look at the navigation screen. There's a red flag on the bottom screen. I'm getting sick and tired of that. I get it. Damn. Wow, look at this, guys. It's some Dragon Ball Z type of shit. <coughs> look at that green marble in his hands. Collect all seven of them and you can live forever. Impressive, is it not? In case you can't tell, this is a statue of an earth dragon. Look closely, Jura. See how the jewel in its hand glitters? Doesn't that look very similar to the stolen trophies? 
now that you mention it, you mean like the Cosmonium shit, right? We should check it with the Cosmonium detector. Alright. Is it Cosmonium? Just as I thought. That's the Cosmonium we've been searching for. Now we just have to nab that jewel and get it back to HQ, right? Well, there's one little problem. That Earth Dragon is no mere statue. Powerful magic has given it a soul of its very own. I've been researching this for some time and I think we should be able to keep to take the jewel as long as we replace it. However, there's also a chance the Earth Dragon will awaken, filled with furious rage which would be so bad. Anyway, if that happens, we'll have no choice but to subdue it in battle. Are you ready? I am ready, my friend. Excellent. Let's get this going. Alright, let's take that. Let's steal that green jewel. Be like thugs. Let's take that thing out of his hand. That's gonna be ours now. I don't care if you got damn statue. I don't care if he's gonna be mad. We need it. That's what we need right now. But it's pretty damn cool. I bet you something's gonna pop out of this though. Because he ain't gonna let it have for free. Y'all know how these Vivasaurs are like. Now, I don't know if this guy's a Vivasaur, but we'll see. Well, we wait to see if this works. Let me tell you a bit about the statue. Long ago, this continent was plagued by war and existed in a state of total chaos. Weary of such things, a powerful sage used his magic to this Earth Dragon. I suppose you could call him this land's guardian. Uh, yeah, okay. That jewel he was holding had been found at the bottom of a deep lake. Legend says it was polished day and night for a year before being placed in the statue's claw. To think that we are only now learning of its true nature. And to think that we may even now be too late. You're scaring me, dude. Mm, oh, sorry. I suppose that did sound a bit ominous. I just meant that, uh... You know what I was trying to tell you. Just trying to tell you a story, man. Okay, well, this is gonna be poppin'. I knew it. Uh, well then, it seems our friend doesn't like his new prize. All hail the mighty Earth Dragon. Oh, God. This guy's like Dragon Ball Z. Damn, he looks cool. Let's put him back to sleep. Right. You know what would be so cool if we could actually dig this guy up? Because I heard you can actually dig up Raja Devil. I'm not sure if it's possible in this game, but I think you can actually dig up Raja Devil in this game, which was the big-ass dinosaur or the dinosaur we saw last uh, battle, of course. But it would be pretty damn cool if I can dig up Earth Dragon. But I don't think we can because he's some kind of god, you know what I mean? Alright, this shouldn't be a, too much of a hard battle, though. He just probably has a lot of health and not much damage, you know? He's just one guy anyway, so yeah. Let's knock him out as fast as possible. 40 damage, okay. Slowly, we're gonna get there. Alright, so Cryo, this new river sword that I'm using for my backup instead of Can, he is not that strong. He's not that strong, but he... Wow, damn, he missed that. Wow, what kind of dragon you are, man. Some kind of dragon he is. Okay, well... I mean, Cryo is uh, alright. River sword. The reason why I like it is because that's cool ice elemental attacks like that. That's pretty damn cool. I like the animation. It's quite different from the other Vivasaurs. You know, instead of just knocking each other's heads. And this is Tarbo. Hey, we have this guy. I didn't know that he had Tarbo. 60 damage. Wow, that's a lot. Let's give him some power ups. 88 damage. Smash his face. That's right. 168 health now. Looks like Leo Ren's Vivasaur is pretty damn strong. I might use Leo Ren instead of uh, Drake. Because I feel like Drake is a little bit weak. Um, I know Drake is awesome, you know, Drake is pretty damn powerful, but I feel like he's a little bit weak, so I might replace him with Leo Ren, we'll see what happens. Because Leo Ren is doing more damage than Becky, and his Tarbo is definitely not level 30. I'll tell you that right now, he's probably like level 20 something. And he's gonna go for an attack! Oh right, maybe it's because Wind is super effective through Earth? That could be probably why, that might be why. Uh, we'll see, we'll see! We'll see if Leo Ren is consistently strong though. But I know Tarbo is a pretty damn strong Vivasaur. Uh, that's what I heard, that's what I read, but we're all confused which is gonna be hella annoying, but it's gonna be fine. And yeah, Cryo is not doing that much, he's probably, he's just doing 35 damage because Earth is super effective to water, so of course he's resistant to water. That's probably why. Alright, let's give him some full attack boost once again. He's only doing 61 damage this time. 62 damage, okay, 80, okay. He's got 80 health left, that should be enough. We should be like 2 more hits or 3 more hits, this should be the last round. And he's gonna go down. Alright, come on, Big Allo, take it down. 62 damage. Let's go. Bite his ass up. Come on, chop his little ass up. Let's go. 18 damage, you know what? That should be it. That's, that's, oh, 68. He healed up, of course. It can be that easy. And he's doing, like, no damage to it. Like, 24. Like, that's not gonna do anything. Pretty easy battle overall. Like, I thought, you know, it's just like the big Roger Devil. 
not very hard. And like I said, it would be pretty damn cool if we could actually get the Earth Dragon though. Because, you know, I've been using Earth Dragon all day. You know, Dragon Ball Z is my thing, guys. Dragon Ball Z is such a good anime cartoon. I really love Dragon Ball Z. Good times. Although they don't, they don't really do it anymore. But 68% uh, accuracy is going to miss. Oh my god, Tarbo. Come on. Tarbo, hard hitting but low accuracy. That kind of sucks. Okay, Becky, you should be able to take it out now. 30 HP. Please don't miss. Please tell me. Okay, 85%. That should be good. It's like Hydro Pump. You know, Hydro Pump is like 80% accuracy. What? Did she? Oh, she didn't even attack. Oh my god, come on. Becky and Leo Ren really got to step up their game. Come on, step up your game, guys. Step up your goddamn game. Come on. Okay, we better not miss anymore. Like, this status uh, ailment is so annoying. Confusion and fear. Come on, like, so goddamn annoying. Okay, I'm the only one who's hitting this guy with 100% accuracy. And no critical hit there. But, uh, you know, I realize the paralysis is not that good. I'd rather have confusion or fear, honestly. Because, you know, you can actually stop them from attacking or have low accuracy, like 68%. That's pretty damn low. 47 HP. Okay, Becky, come on. Let's knock him out. Let's knock him out. Come on, don't miss, okay? Or don't don't get scared. Like a little biatch. Come on, attack him. Finish him off. Don't get scared. Okay. Don't get scared. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I thought she got scared there for a minute. I would be so, so mad if she got, she got scared again there. Okay, 99 points there. I should be able to level up. Maybe or maybe not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Level 26. Cryo. Yeah, you can see that. I leveled him up really, really high last night. I spent all night doing this, guys. You know, outside grinding and excavating new fossils. All right. So, you're going to go down. Go back to sleep, you little bitch. Oh, mighty and wise Earth Dragon, please accept this new jewel. We gave it to you in the hope that your old prize will aid us in creating a better world. Go to sleep, or we'll have to beat your ass again. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. Never wake up again. Looks like we're okay. The Earth Dragon seems content with his new jewel. Hopefully he'll continue protecting this continent as he has done for so long. Come, let's go back. Well, he better stay asleep or he knows what's gonna be coming for him for lunch. I'll give this cosmonium to Professor Little. Thank you for all your help. Alright, no problem. So you're gonna be my warden, uh, ah, not warden, you're gonna be my paleo pal, right? That's probably what's gonna be. Alright, do it already, register yourself. And since you know now how to open the stone door under the waterfall, feel free to dig where, there whenever you like. Sweet, thanks Leo Ren. Wait, I need one more thing from you. And that's gonna be... A Kung Fu matchup! Be my paleo pal! <laughs> Alright, that's all for now. I hope we can work together soon. Um, okay? Alright, he's gonna register us in the paleo pal, probably. Or, what's going on? Huh? How did he do that? Alright, yeah, I knew that. He was gonna be our paleo pal. We're probably gonna end up using Tarbo, see how good he is. Boy, that was weird, huh? Okay, let's go to Fossil Park uh, America, right? Yeah, because we just did Fossil Park Asia. Oh my god, why am I going to the outside world? We gotta go to the world gate. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the world gate, everybody. Welcome back to Fossil Park America. Time to go back to Las Vegas, everybody. Time to go back, okay. Let's go and see and check up on our man, Sean. How you doing? How you doing, Sean? Great, dude. Here to help us find Cosmonium? Sweet, man. We've been searching like high and low, you know. But it must be bad juju or something because we keep coming up empty. That's why we need all the help we can get. Heck, as soon as we're done talking, I'm gonna head back out there and keep bailing that dirt. A leader's work is like never done, am I right? Yeah, so right, man. Whatever. Um, so that's it? What the hell? So, I'm gonna go outside and check up on things, I guess? He doesn't want to do anything. Hey, Skura! You're seriously lucky to have some here today of all days! And you're about to find out why! Anyway, come on, follow me, man! Um, okay, this better be good, you little rat. You wasted my time, I'm gonna beat you up! That's right, you give me your lunch money. <laughs> I'm gonna need that five dollars from you. Oh, what's this? He's here! He's really here! Oh my god, Dino Gigant is here! I can't believe it! Someone fixed me! 
<laughs> Good to see you, friends. Come, step closer. Don't be shy. Dino Gigant has more than enough muscle to go around. <laughs> see, isn't this great? Dino Gigant is the undisputed king of masked fossil fighters. He's maybe the most famous guy in the whole world. I don't know who the hell he is, but he looks like a... You know, he looks like a little big bitch. That's what he is. Oh, I'm so excited. I think my nose is going to start bleeding. Alright, Dino Buddies. Let me hear it. Dino is the best. Better than the rest. Wow, these guys are like some... It's like some kind of gay club we got going over here. Dino is the best. Better than the rest. Alright guys, break up the gay little club you guys got going on there. I had no idea people were so into this kind of thing. Okay, what a waste of time. Man, what is it, Ken? Oh, crotch shot! Nice! You got his penis! <laughs> ah! Hello there, little fella! You seem pretty lively! Oh, whoa! Cosmonium detector, that's... What the hell? Oh my gosh! What's up, amigo? You seem interested in my championship belt. Give me that belt, man! Ah, uh, you're not the first fighter that's wanting to take this belt from me! Dino Gigant treasures that belt of all, of all things! How dare someone just demand it like that! I bet that loser's gonna get pal driven back to the Stone Age! <laughs> Dino Gigant admires you, for luck! But he can't simply hand over his belt. For it represents his greatest triumph. Dino Gigant claimed it from the defeated form of his greatest fossil fighter adversary, the Flying Smile Kid. I'm taking care of his belt until the day when the Flying Smile Kid demands a rematch. So I fear the belt must remain on my person at all times. <laughs> anyway, that's why you can't have it. No way, no how. Now, if you manage to bring back the Flying Smile Kid back here, well, then Dino Gigant might reconsider. <laughs> That's right. Fuck you, kid. Get out of my face now. Man, what a waste of our time. He didn't even give us our Cosmonium. I can't believe he just came out and demanded his belt like that. Dino Gigant will never part with that belt. Never, I say. It's a remainder of his epic battle with the Flying Smile Kid. With who? Wait a second. You don't know who the Flying Smile Kid is. He's the king of aerial combat. The grinning prince of the fossil fighting universe. He used to be in the same mass fighter league in Dino Gigant. So naturally he was a hero and an idol to pretty much everyone. Three years ago, Kalio Steel Fossil Park held an epic battle between all the mass fighters in the world. Dino Gigant and the Flying Smile Kid battled for days on and without pause. But at the end, Dino emerged victorious and the Flying Smile Kid drifted off, never to be heard again. Anyway, that's how Di Dino Gigant got his belt. The Flying Smile Kid was always his greatest rival, so it's no surprise he wants to fight him again. He's always talking about it in interviews and stuff. Why, just the other day he mentioned it in the Mass Fighter Weekly. Hey, wait! Why am I standing around talking to you when I could be getting Dino's autograph? I'm out of here, loser! Yeah, thanks for nothing, man! I hate you! Okay. Tell Sean that you found a Cosmonium. It's on his big ass freaking belt! Oh man. Why can't he just why can't we just beat him up in a fossil battle? He's he's too scared. He's too pussy to fight us. I know that. No, that's why he rejected it. Whoa, slow down a second, bro. Don't tell me you actually found some cosmonium. Oh hey, that's right, bro. I got your cosmonium right here. It's on the belt worn by Dino Jaget! And now he wants you to go find his flying spell kits so they can fight one more match? Jeez, I sound like a narrator over here. Ugh. What are we gonna do? This is gnarly. I don't have any idea who, where to find this flying smile kid. How do you find a ghost, man? It's like blowing my mind, bro. There must be something we could do. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go talk to Dino Gigant myself. If he knows the world is like depending on him and stuff, he might fork over the belt. Cause like, what does a belt matter if the world ends, man? Well, I guess it doesn't matter to him as long as he has a belt, right? <laughs> I don't know. But, uh... Uh, Jura, I have a favor to ask you. I need to visit Gold Rush Canyon and I was hoping you'd tag along. Frankly, I have my doubts that Sean would be able to talk to Di 
Dino Gigant out of his belt. So I figured I should go back and look for the Cosmonium on my own. That sounds like a plan to you. Uh, but I got the co Cosmonium for you. It's on his belt. It's not in the goddamn canyon. Like, thanks. All right, I'll go ahead to Gold Rush Canyon. Like, I don't get it. I just told you I found a Cosmonium. You want to go back and look for it. You don't believe my story, Becky. How dare you? Okay, guys. Um, We should probably just end the episode right here. It's like 20 minutes. Just about 20 minutes. And, you know, you guys are probably don't want to sit around here and watch another 20 more minutes right here. Because that's probably what's going to happen when we go outside. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Let's end it right here. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for joining me here always. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back with more. As you guys know, peace out. And have fun.